New Zealand's response to the COVID crisis has highlighted a range of inequities across Aotearoa, with access to food perhaps the most noticeable. As we slowly return to our new normal, community organisations who've been grappling with food and housing shortages say they don't want things to go back to how they were. More than 16,000 food parcels have been distributed by Auckland Council's emergency response teams. That's in addition to the parcels being handed out by Marae, food banks and other community organisations organisations. Our cameraman Nick Monroe and reporter Nita Blake Person filed this report. This Auckland Emergency Centre is usually used during floods, fires or other natural disasters. But for the past two months it's been used to deal with another type of crisis. Thousands of hungry families. We've supported um, just over 16,000 households, so we've had over 34,000 calls in total. Uh, many of those calls have been about information, referral onto another agency, a, a local community group. And we've supported um, 16, just over 16,000 households directly with food. Greg Morgan is the Auckland Emergency Management Welfare Manager. His team has been supplying food parcels through Spark Arena, making calls to elderly households and supplying food to community organisations. Not everyone who calls needs food, but a lot do. People are doing it tough and all of the community organisations that have been active in supporting people realise that we've been in a response mode and that giving people a food box is a way to get them through difficult circumstances. People's hard times are going to continue for many months and so the community partners are now starting to think gosh what is a sustainable approach a whanau centred approach where there are more wraparound services around people and it's not just the response of a food package. He stands alongside a dashboard which shows how many calls are coming in and where they're coming from. The brighter the red the more calls there have been from that area. Manukau is notably brighter than anywhere else. Greg Morgan says many community organisations are still seeing extraordinary need. Many of them say that the demand continues and they can see that it's only going to increase over the coming months because of the economic and social impacts of COVID-19. So overall the demand continues and the phase that we're in now is planning the transition for support for communities in the coming months. One of the frontline agencies seeing that need every day is the Monaco Urban Māori Authority. We always knew that once so much the virus that um, was going to impact on our community was the fallout, which is the follow-up. And the fallout is about loss of jobs. It's about uh, understanding that the, the, the impoverished, just the, the, footprint, the footprint just gets bigger. So um, understanding that and trying to work with our people so they um, can get the basics the basic necessities is our priority but then we have to look at well what does that how do we lift our game so this kind of um, need is, is isn't as big as, as it is now. Bernie O'Donnell is the authority's cultural manager and is at Ngā Whare Wātea Marae where whānau fill their car boots with free food. They come here because they, they are hungry and they don't have food. Uh, they weren't coming here just for the Covid virus by itself um, because Living with life-threatening illnesses is nothing new to our communities when they have to deal with things like um, heart disease and diabetes. So the next thing that would be, uh, that, that motivates them to come, come, come to us is because they don't have any food. So when you're ready, I just need you to drive alongside the table there and they'll let you know when to get out to collect your food. Okay. Alrighty? Cool. When you're ready. When the service was first set up, so many people were turning up, there wasn't enough food to go around. But these days, there's a slick operation in place so that people are safely distanced at all times when collecting their food. Bernie O'Donnell says COVID has put a spotlight on the plight of many Monaco families. Well, unfortunately, what we see in the pandemic in terms of the, the need for help and assistance for our communities is the norm. And um, that's, that's, that's something we have to change as an organisation. Actually, we all have to change that kind of... Uh, way our people are, are living. The struggle to get food on the table is affecting thousands of households across the country. More than 36,000 emergency food grants were handed out in the week to May 15th. Families here are grateful for the help on offer. This mum says this food will keep her family going for about two weeks. And who's in your household? Uh, me and eight kids. Just a uh, bit of help with food. Yeah, yeah, it helps a lot, you know. But... 
during the uh, COVID-19, then life is struggling. Bernie O'Donnell says while there are challenges for the Monaco community, there are plenty of strengths too. This situation, although it's been our norm, should not be what defines us as a community. Uh, we're better than this. We, we have dreams and aspirations. Um, if, we, if, our, if we just are around with the, the tools, if you like, for us to progress collectively, I mean, we are better than this. I hope that a change in New Zealand's COVID levels will also bring longer lasting change to those Kiwis doing it tough. For Checkpoint, Cornita Blakeperson, DNA.